Hello and welcome to Ashton's Tech Support. This is the second new computer I've unboxed on this channel and in the last day or so. Uh, this is just the normal M2 Mac Mini. Yay! So it's an upgrade from the M1 chip. Now this chip has already been out a while. It's been in the MacBook Airs and we already know what performance to expect, but nonetheless, I will still run tests on it. Woohoo! That's so much easier if you know where that thing is. All right, let's put this one there. Boop, 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 and boop. Okay, so after you pull the strip and open the box like that, you just pull out. Woohoo! Ah, get it, pull out. Boop. Uh, -doo -doo -doo. All right, here it is. It, the box looks completely the same <laughs> than the last one I just unboxed because uh, I just unboxed the M2 Pro chip. This, the specs are 8 gigabytes unified memory, 256 SSD with Apple M2 chip. I am thinking that this is going to have a little bit better performance than the M2 MacBook Air just because the MacBook Air doesn't have a cooling fan and this does. Also, it's not supporting an integrated display. It just has to give an HDMI signal or Thunderbolt signal out to a separate display. And it's not running off of battery power, so I don't think it has to be as power efficient, but we'll see. Okay, so flipping it over, we pull this strip, wow. And then we pull this strip. Wow, we just stripped it. Okay, let's flip it over. Okay. Mac Mini, slip it out of the box like that before we get to the computer to see the goodies. Let's see what's in here. Wow, it looks exactly the same as the last one I just opened. I think that's either a studio display or a XDR display, which is $6,000. Okay, yep, do do do, and there should be this Apple sticker in there. And, oh, okay, so there is a difference. And the M2 Pro, there is a space gray silver because it's for pros. This one is just more of a white sticker. It's not as dark. Okay, let's put this back in there. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's sticky. That's fun. I'll go ahead and move some of this stuff out the way. And of course, we have our power cable, black, black power cable. All right, let's take this off the back. So we're gonna flip it upside down and peel. Hooray, big black sticky pad. Awesome. So if I were to open it, which I'm not, but you can go look at videos of people opening them. This is how they would open it through this. I think this is also where the Wi-Fi signals come out because it's plastic and not metal like the back. I mean the rest of it. And I think some of this might be plastic as well. Um, if we were to look inside, there would be a lot of space. There'd be a fan, there'd be the motherboard, everything on the motherboard, but there's a lot of empty space in here, which is why it was weird to see them not update the casing for the M1 chip. And then for the M2, which is this one, they still haven't updated it. So when's our new model coming? That's gonna be smaller. It'd be really cool if they could fit it into like an Apple TV size box. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Woohoo! Okay, that, another sticky black strip. What? We have, ooh, it's different. Okay, we have two USB 3 ports, one HDMI, two Thunderbolt 4, an Ethernet, and the power port. If I were to compare it to the M2 Pro, what? What? This is literally the only difference on the outside. We would have one, two, three, four Thunderful board. Four ports, and yep, both have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So if you really, really, really want more ports, you gotta spend a little bit more money. And um, it's, it's just better, it's faster. You can get more frames per second on Minecraft because if you're buying Macs, you're definitely trying to play video games. <laughs> that was funny. All right, let's put this one back away. Whoop. Oh, and hopefully that doesn't fall out of the box. So, what can you expect with this PC? I don't know! It is a PC, because a Mac is a personal computer, so don't get that confused. I guess I will plug it in and start running some benchmarks on it and compare it to the other stuff. And by other stuff, I mean the other Mac and the other Mac. Which Mac am I talking about? I don't know. Let's plug it in. Alright, hello, I'm back. 
finally, this is the last Mac I'm reviewing before I compare them all. This is the standard M2 Mac Mini, like we just unboxed it for you, with uh, two ports in the back. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. We might be wondering what these cords are. This is the power cord. It's going to go a boom, like so. This is my Display Port to Thunderbolt 4 adapter. This is the, ooh, okay. So because this doesn't have four ports, we're just going to use standard Ethernet instead of my, I mean, adapter, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. Trackpad connection, just because I don't want to do all that Bluetooth stuff. And then my keyboard connection right in the back here. Bam. All right. Let's see. The Ethernet is going to be the biggest pain, but that should be able to suffice. Let's move this over here. Nope. Okay. Oh, crap. Lightning cords. Okay, I've gotten that in the position that I want it. This will go up here. This box will go up here. Okay, everything for the most part is where I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. There's that sound. Alright, the screen should pick it up any second now. Hey, it's picking it up. Alright. Hello. Yes, English. Inglés. Por favor. Oh, I have to actually click on it. Oh, no, I didn't. United States. United States. Yep. Yep, all that's right. Not now. Oh, and it's going to need an update. Well, we'll update that later. Continue. No, I, I didn't. Well, that happened. So I guess I will come back to you after it's done updating. All right, it did pretty much exactly what it said it was going to do. It took 30 minutes, so yes, I'm in the U.S. Yes, that's preferred language. No, not now. Continue. We're not doing that. Sign in no. Set for later. No. Skip. Yes, I agree. This one might take a little bit. No. Okay, and we're going to call this test. Account name test. Password poop. Password poop. I don't know why hitting enter doesn't work. Creating account and in 7 million years the account will be created so I'll go ahead and skip to that point. Ah, okay. Enable location services, no, continue, don't use. Uh, I'm somewhere on the east coast so like there maybe, I don't know. I'm, no I'm not in Canada. I'm close, yeah sure, Jacksonville, but that works. Uh, continue, continue, no, okay. Dark, continue. Continue, shift, boop, and boop, switch. Okay, now it's time for Geekbench to run these scores. So, Geekbench, Geekbench 5, cross-platform, download, download, should be right there. Yep, allow, yes, come here, come on. Sweet, Geekbench 5. Open. Now that that's open, I'm going to close out of Safari because I don't want anything interfering. Agree. Later. Run my CPU. But nope. Wow. Already freezing. I've never had that with an M2. Okay. CPU. Run. CPU. Benchmark. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to grab the 16-inch, which has the data for itself and for the Pro Mac Mini. Today I'm only comparing this in the review video with the other Mac Mini, so that's the other Pro. Alright, the test results are in. So the single score for Geekbench is 1,941. I, if I remember correctly, that's about standard for the single core across all the M2 lineup. The multi-core is 8,881. That seems a little low to me. Now you probably don't understand what that means, so let's compare it over here. So if I turn the brightness up, 1,969 for the other M2, so yeah, that's within a 20 point difference. 
And then multi-core over here is 12,000. You, yes. Okay, this a little over 3,000 for difference. Woo, okay, let's see the graphics. Open CL, 27,000, and this had 41,000. Okay, so my next test is probably gonna be very painful when I do the Final Cut Pro rendering. I'm basically just gonna render my video that's already been posted. The review, like the unboxing of all of these, I'm rendering that, and I'll tell you how long it takes. <sighs> okay, it ran the benchmark. <laughs> it was definitely the longest one. It estimated 25 minutes, which I was like, oh, okay, so it is going to take a lot longer. It took about 42. Hey, that's the meaning of life, universe, and everything. So, yeah, this is not the editing powerhouse that the Mac Mini was. Who is this for? I have no idea. <laughs> if you are going to buy an M2 Mac Mini, don't. First of all, if you are going to buy this for editing, um, photoshopping, anything like that, don't spend the extra $200 for the next Mac Mini, and then don't buy that. If you're only needing a desktop, please don't buy this. You can go, go buy an M2 MacBook Air or an M2 MacBook Pro. Would recommend a Pro. Uh, if you need the fan, maybe with the touch bar and use it as your desktop and then go carry it around. If you just need the slight performance of the M2 chip, but you just, you're gonna get the same performance if you buy the laptop. I don't know why anyone would buy these desktops anymore unless all you need 100% certain is just a stationary computer. But if you have just the slightest bit of doubt, I'm gonna wanna take this on vacation. I'm gonna wanna take my computer here. And if you don't wanna lug a giant monitor around, just get the laptop because when you close the laptop, all these plug into this. When I carry my 14 inch MacBook Air, MacBook Pro around, I'll go use it, I'll use it in class, I'll sometimes edit on the couch, and then I'm like, you know what, I wanna plug into the big screen. I just set it down and plug all these cords into it, and bam, I'm using it there. Don't buy a Mac Mini. I know they're cool. I like playing with them a lot, but I'm never, I would never keep one. Because we're at the point now where these chips give you the same performance no matter the form factor. You can get the same performance in the Mac Mini that you could in a desktop. So the only reason before when people would recommend, oh, buy a desktop is because they had better graphics performance, better CPU performance, because a, a laptop chip wouldn't fit. I mean, a desktop chip wouldn't fit in a laptop. Now they're the exact same chip. The exact same. Buy a laptop. The M2 or M1 MacBook Air, you can find it for 800 to 900. That's, if you want to go up, I think it's 1,100, but you can definitely find refurbished and cheaper models on Amazon and Best Buy. I would not recommend this computer. However, if you are dead set on buying it, go ahead and buy it. Do what makes you happy. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe. If you liked this video, please leave a like. And if you want to show somebody that they really shouldn't buy a MacBook Mini, a Mac Mini, and they should buy a MacBook Pro or Air, send them this video. Or if you just want to annoy everybody, create a giant group string, send them all this video, because that's fun. That's, that's pretty much I had. There was my spiel of like, subscribing, and sharing, and reviewing, and um, keep looking at the channel because the last video after this one is just going to be, it's going to be the compare video. Okay, that's all I have. Bye!